I got an idea for today. Let's go catch some fish. Yeah. I mean, awesome, right? Of course, that's what everybody wants to do. Well, we've had a lot of rain recently, and I haven't actually done a lot of fishing the last few days. But a couple days ago, I did go out and got right on some fish. I only had like an hour, but it was pretty good. Let me show you that, and then I'm going to show you what I'm about to do today. Whew, it's cold there. Water's clear, and I thought. But it is kind of windy. There's one. There's a fish. What have we got? Is it a white bass or yellow bass? It's a good size. No, it was a yellow bass. No, I think it's a yellow bass. Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell right now. All I know is I just saw some action going on and I watched this crane. I mean, uh, there's a blue heron. Blue heron over there. I saw him like all of a sudden perk up and like come out, walk out that log. Look like he's about to eat something, so. We got a fish number one. Oh, oh. Oh, I got a fish. Okay. I was looking over there. Next cast. Now that's a yellow bass, you can tell. I think the heron just got something. Dude, they may be stacked up right here. That's two casts in a row. Kind of just worked my way down from the uh the wind's blowing also the wind's blowing in a lot of times it pushes fish or the bait fish and then the whatever's eating those bait fish follow at least that's what they say so i worked my way in and then all of a sudden i got two bites right here but i've also seen some like little like little hits i don't know if that's shad jumping or if it's these yellow bass like chasing the shad Good hit. Oh yeah. Nice little yellow bass. Last time I was here, me and Chris kept some of these and ate them and they were actually really good. But I don't think I'm keeping them today. It's pretty cold out. And I'm just here to try to catch some fish. And I was it'd been raining a lot drop back cold i'm like i need to find a spot where i can just go try to find some and um i came back here I hadn't been here and i don't know it's been weeks and didn't take long to get right on them i hope they stay for longer i was hoping maybe the white bass like the bigger white bass will move in i do like catching yellow bass but those white bass are like just you know a little bit bigger a little stronger Oh, I just kind of killed it right there and just let it fall. Pulled out another. That's a little one there. I bet they're like following it. I wish I could see what they're doing. Oh, speaking of the devil, I think that's Chris just pulling up. Huh. Well, if I, I think that's him. We'll see if that's him. So let's see if that's Chris pulling up. Well, I guess I was mistaken. Me and Chris have fished this area lots of times. And it must be working day. Probably, you know, out there slaving away, doing real work. But I'll still be out here trying to catch some fish. So um, I don't. I guess that wasn't him. It looked like his vehicle, but you know, probably doing other things. So I'm gonna get back to fishing. Hopefully, I catch a bunch more fish. Oh, that's a fish. Wow, what is it? That looks something good. Oh, it's a good fish. Or did I snag it? Oh, it's a skipjack. Oh, wow, it's a nice one. That's a big one. Oh, man. Oh, dude's fat, too. That is a giant skipjack. Oh, my goodness. Dude, this barely got him i was just kind of walking over 
as I was reeling it in and this thing hit it. Oh man, that's probably one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. Oh, I was gonna buy this new little scale and I forgot to bring it with me. I'd like to weigh it. I bet he weighs two and a half pounds. How thick it is. Whew. That's a cool fish. All right. Big old fish there. Wow, that was cool. Maybe I'll get another one. I'm glad I came over and tried this other spot. Oh man, that was a good hit. Something thumps that thing. I don't know how it didn't stay on there. He just yanked on it. Oh, oh! <laughs> that little dude thumped it. I thought it was a big in there for a second. They're still in here. That first one I caught was like really pale. Maybe it was a, no, it had the jagged. The first one, I think they've all been yellow bass, but these are a little more defined. Alrighty. Yeah, he hit that one hard. Back to back, that's how we like to do it. I'm just, I'm actually just like casting out to the middle. And, oh, that dude swallowed that lure. And I'm just, um, I just recently learned that I've been tight lining. I never knew what tight lining was, but I heard people talk about it before. I was like, what is tight lining? I have no idea what that means. But it's just, I'm throwing this little lure out there and just kind of swimming it and kind of twitching it back in um without it falling on the bottom there you go or like uh kind of losing contact i mean you know, i'm kind of just i'm casting it out i'm figuring it's three maybe four feet deep at the most out there Ooh. but the wind is kind of bothering a little bit but i'm just casting it just like you'd bank fish for a crappie or whatever with the lure just kind of Twitching it a little bit, letting it fall, reeling it. Something hit it. Had a hit right there. Yep, there's some fish in here. There's one. I let it pause and he hit it. There's a lot of them in here today. Ow! Man, those gills are so sharp. You gotta be careful. It'll slush you up. Oh, God, come on, man. Oh, what is it? Oh, whoa, what was that? Something exploded right there. I tried to let that thing sink because the wind, because the wind's blowing it. That time when I was sinking, I picked up and it was on there. Wind's blowing my line around. Oh, hooked something. Ah, a little baby shad. Hmm. All right, let's see what happens if I leave it out there like that. Oh, it came off. Never mind. Came off when I cast it back out. There we go. Oh, I gotta take it. That feels better. Wow, it is fighting hard. What is it? Ooh, wow. Wow, is that a yellow bass? Holy cow, that's a giant. Dude, that's a yellow bass, right? That's a monster. Man, that's a really, really good one there. 
I've been getting tons of little bites and all of a sudden get a really good one. He's gotta be at least over 10 inches. Today isn't as windy as it was a couple days ago, so it actually feels really calm. I actually like the way it feels. It's like 50 degrees, like a drizzling rain. There's this little, another creek channel, a different one that I'm gonna fish that I never, I don't think I've ever walked down through here before. I fished off the bridge one time before, but I think this could be another spot that could be have some fish in it. So let's go check it out. Oh, that was a hit. Okay, I've had a couple hits. I haven't landed it and I haven't seen it. They're just tugging it. I don't know if I need a downsize. I don't really want to downsize because I think I could come across some bass or some yellow bass or some white bass or some crappie. Oh, there's one. There's one. I'll let him just take it. That's what I'm talking about. We got something here. What is it? Wait, I don't, is that a large mouth? Oh my, that's a bass. Nice. Not a giant, but a good bass. Oh, that's actually not bad. That is not bad at all. Oh, that guy's in there shallow. He's thick. Man, I didn't, I can't see nothing. Oh, the hook came right out. I had a couple little hits. It's like a perfect kind of channel for fish to be coming and going. Wasn't expecting a largemouth really. But I'm glad I, I, I brought this little, little bit. This, this rod's a light, but it really feels like a medium light. So if I do get in some little bit bigger fish, I can, uh, I should be able to handle them pretty easily. Oh, nice. I just saw something jump up right there. Okay, location number three. Hopefully we got a few more fish here. I spent probably 45 minutes the first place, caught two bass, 45 minutes the second place, caught one little bluegill. So uh, let's try this spot. There we go, what is that? Watch. Is that a large one? It's a little bit large one. I sure yanked that thing hard. <laughs> uh, I got back in. Come on, where? There's got to be more than just a tiny little bass in here. I've already got some hits. Got uh, see all kinds of little stuff going on. I just can't find the right spot today, or I don't know what the fish are doing. Oh, oh, fish on! We got something. I'm just kind of working it slow and it's another bass man these little bass in here are fat look at that thing maybe there's some big ones in here i don't know but these little ones i don't know how long they've been in here they get in these little holes in the creek just these guys are feeding huh maybe it's i'm seeing a lot of little action maybe just a bunch of little bass in here just in here munching on stuff all right, fish beware, it's about to get on. So I've been getting some bites, missing them. I'm downsizing 164th ounce jig head, little Bobby Garland itty bit slab hunter. And whatever these fish are, I think I'm about to start catching them. There's one. All right, so what's been thumping this thing? Cause I kept casting over there and getting bites with my little bit bigger one and bluegill. That's like what I thought. Oh, but pretty aggressive the way they're hitting it. So it's just a, that's a solid little bluegill. 
All right, there's one. Right there. There must be a bunch of them right there because I was getting bites every time I cast it over there. Yep, two in a row. That little lure, just smaller, lighter, just kind of floats through the water a lot slower. And like these fish are big enough to get their mouth around a full size Bobby Garland, but they just, they weren't inhaling it all the way. They were just grabbing the back of it. This right here is just perfect. Now I can really just let them grab it and eat it. What is that? Oh, okay. That may have been another lure, uh, another fish that was hitting. I'm trying to be easy. And these are some small yellow bass. Cause I had some thumps earlier that I didn't, I was like, that feels like something bigger than a bluegill. But even this thing could easily get that whole Bobby Garland in its mouth. They're just barely pecking at it. That's a little guy, but now I just want to know what's in there. Something when I'm getting bites from something, I just like, well, now I want to know what it was. So bluegill and little yellow bass. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a little bluegill. I just pulled him right out of there. Man, I bet there, I bet if we were to like take all the water out of here, there'd be just time. There'd be this whole area would probably be flopping with just little fish that are three, four, five inches long and little bass, maybe a few big ones mixed in there. But I think right now it's just so many little ones in there and soon there should be like, this is a uh, end of January, almost February. Pretty soon there should be some bigger largemouth moving in some bigger, maybe some white bass or yellow bass or crappie. I would think they start getting up in here and these little guys will kind of go further up the creek. Well, I didn't exactly just smash them out there today. Um, I did learn some stuff and I think I might come back tomorrow and kayak here. I think the water is just high enough where I can get out down to the river because it gets pretty shallow, but I, I might come back and try it. But I love hitting these places because you never know. I, I like to hit them over and over again and I don't show every time I come to every little spot, but anytime you can show up and just catch fish like crazy. So that's what's so fun about hitting those spots. Thanks for watching.